Hey guys, a while back I had made a best of Steam VR games according to me, a list. And I haven't played everything, I still haven't played everything. So it needed some work. And you guys got at me in the comments and you told me that I should have said this and that. And so we're gonna dig into it. What were your favorite games and what do you have to say for yourselves? Now, first up, that new guy said, Dirt Rally 2 seems awesome. Thanks for the info. I'd like to add two more that I enjoy. Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky. I just love my space games. Great list and video. Well, thank you, that new guy. That was very nice of you. Uh, yeah, Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky. I haven't played Elite Dangerous, but after looking at this video, I kind of want to. It looks really good, and I'm glad that you mentioned it. As far as No Man's Sky, I dug into it back when what was it, three years ago, and it still needed a lot of work. This looks really good though, and I'm excited to jump into this. And next up, we have BMAC VR. He said, pretty good list. Here are some games you could consider adding. The Light Brigade. In my opinion, this is the best VR roguelike on Steam. I don't play Compound anymore because of it. I see you like Dirt Rally 2. It's amazing. So maybe you would like some other cockpit games. Vox Machina is amazing, and Ultra Wings 2 is also surprisingly addicting and strikes the perfect balance between sim and arcade. Another one I haven't played is Light Brigade, and I'm going to. Vox Machina also looks really interesting to me, so I'm gonna have to get into it. I don't know enough about these games outside of the trailers that I've watched because you brought it to my attention. And last up, Ultra Wings. Thank you for mentioning it. I haven't tried this, but I think that a lot of people mentioned this because of my saying that Star Wars Squadrons was a great flight sim. And I agree, though this looks cartoony, I think it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm anxious to jump into it. All right. And Wadey says, for racing, I totally can recommend Automobilista 2. It looks awesome. And yes, Squadrons looks and feels great. I love it. Thank you. Another one I haven't played. This whole list is just a list of games that Dan hasn't played. But I, it's a list of games Dan's gonna play. And I'll get back to you. This looks really good as well. All right, and PM Computing 2459 says, I'm playing Hubris and loving the hell out of it. The 2.0 version fixes a lot of issues and introduces new features. It's a single player science fiction action first person shooter with extremely high fidelity graphics, art style, and a decent story. If I had to compare the level of detail in the graphics to another VR game, it would be Lone Echo 2. The art style is very reminiscent of Halo, but has its own flair. Great game so far. As far as his mention of Lone Echo 2, I've played Lone Echo 1 and I loved it. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm very close to finishing it. And Lone Echo 2, I know, looks a lot better, even. As far as Hubris goes, Hubris looks really interesting, and I'm glad that you brought it to my attention. Again, another game I need to play. There's not enough time in the world. And Kevin Brook 7033 says, I guess it's hard to narrow down to 15, but you missed all of my top three. First off, Microsoft Flight Simulator effectively carries PC VR these days on its Earth-sized shoulders. It's a virtual replica of the entire planet. Nothing touches it or even comes close. I spent nearly four months last summer flying a castle tour of England, Wales, and Scotland. More wow moments than all the games I've played in VR combined. Subnautica is a must play too. It took me 65 hours to complete, absolutely terrifying in places. He also says Hellblade, a small, simple game, but my favorite for atmosphere and dark storytelling. I've completed it four times on a Rift S, Quest 2, Reverb G2, and a Quest Pro. This guy's got a lot of headsets. So Flight Simulator, I have played it. I own it. It's wildly expensive. The time I was playing it, I was rocking a 3070 Ti and I was having trouble with it. It was too much for my computer. I did fly over my house and that was cool. I really enjoyed that. And I liked all the controls it gave you. My only gripe with it was that 
it was just too big and my computer couldn't handle it. But now that I'm on a 4080, I suppose it's time to try this again, revisit it and see how it goes. Thank you for the recommendation. The next thing you said was Subnautica. Now I have installed that. Initially with Subnautica, I know a lot of people, they were having to play with an Xbox controller and I, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna compromise on the game. So I installed that mod that gave you the hand tracking and it was just wigging out. I'm told it's a terrifying game. I'm told by everyone that it's a must play, but it just wasn't playing nice with me. And I'm taking a break from it. I got to try to reinstall that thing and figure it out because it was just not working. I could barely get off the submarine at the very beginning. So if you got tips, let me know. I want to play it. I know it's a great game. It's just trying to get to the great game. And lastly, you mentioned Hellblade. Hellblade looks really cool, and it does look like a lot of fun. It's typically not my cup of tea, but it looks good, and I'm, I'm happy to try it. All right, and Kamikaze says, Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades is my number one and only VR game I consistently return to and still enjoy. And I see why you're saying that. I haven't played it. Another thing I haven't played, but looking at this, this looks like a lot of fun. And actually, I promise I'll be playing this within the next two or three days. All right, no Mac 5 says, you miss the best one these days. In my opinion, Fallout 4 VR. Modern tactical overhaul, looks and runs great, full game. Would you believe me if I told you I have never played a Fallout game in my life? I know, I have never played one in my life, even before I was deep into VR. Just, I never played it. Seems like I need to, so thank you for the recommendation. Who else has played Fallout VR, and what do you think of it? And Electroferret 2023 says, I got Alien Isolation VR. I'm very glad for you. I know that there is a VR mod for Alien Isolation. I've played the flat screen version maybe three hours in. I, I began playing it after my first experience with the uh, Jurassic World game that came out for the Quest. And yeah, I saw the similarities. I understand why people were making those parallels. And it was a scary game. I want to jump into it. It looks like fun inside VR. All right. And Arrowage. Eroage? I don't know. You missed two of my favorite games, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, Episodes 1 and 2. All right, let's get into it. I need to play this game. Admittedly, it looks amazing on Steam, and it, even with the, the new graphics that the Quest 3 can push out, it looks really good. I promise I'm going to get into it. I originally played a bit of the first one, and I was put off by the fact that you had to hold a weapon with two hands, and it kind of punished you for not doing that because of the weight of the weapon. I understand how that could be immersive, and I think I'm just being small-minded. I think I need to try it again because I agree, this looks amazing, so I will get into it. I'll get back to you after I've played it. Dylan God of War. He says, you completely forgot Boneworks. I did completely forget Boneworks. Again, it's a game I have not finished, but it's one that I got pretty deep into maybe two years ago, and I just, I've been so busy with other games, I never got back into it. I know that it, for a lot of you, it's your favorite game. It's, it's so wide, and you can do so much with it. It's such a catch-all, this sandbox, and I need to get back into it. But yes, Boneworks is an amazing title. I've heard that Bone Lab, not so much. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, and Goldbone says, a bit disappointed Gorn wasn't here, but good video. I'm sorry I disappointed you. Gorn is fine. Only my opinions here, okay? I've played Gorn on the standalone quest because it didn't strike me as a game that would benefit immensely from PC VR support just for the nature of what it looks like. And I found it to be interesting, fun, kind of gimmicky, not very full. I don't know. It's the same reason I don't get into boxing games. I'm just not looking for these one and done quick things. But again, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me. And God, if, if everyone in the comments is screaming at me right now, then you could look forward to a third video. All right. And Jem Kaya said, you forgot Forest. I didn't forget Forest, but I didn't play Forest. I admit Forest looks really interesting. I'm not deep into these survival games where 
you know, most of the game is spent collecting and building things. And, but to be fair, I, I don't get into it because I don't do it very often and I, I don't have a huge tolerance for it. Perhaps I need to change that. So I'd be happy to try Forest. If I do, I will let you know. And you guys can let me know in the comments. All right. And I think this is Patrick Govra. He says, I was waiting for Skyrim, Resident Evil 4, and Carnage, but I suppose it's not your game style. I don't know what my game style is. I just know I like games that keep me engaged and that have a plot and that demand a lot from me. So no, I'm not tied to anything, but I appreciate you mentioning these. Now for the record, I haven't played Skyrim. That's just in the past flat screen that hasn't been my bag, but I'm open to it. I'd like to try it. So I, I know it looks good. And uh, yeah, if I do, I will let you know. As far as Resident Evil 4, I've been playing Resident Evil 7 in VR with the mod and it's it's really good. Minus uh, some hiccups, minus some issues at the beginning and just the modes in which you maneuver through the menu, uh, some of the cut scenes, and, like when you get pushed over and it's kind of an animated sequence, it's pretty nauseating. But other than that, it's a lot of fun. If Resident Evil 4 is anything like that, you know, just for the scares, I'd be interested. I know that a lot of people consider Resident Evil 4 to be the beginning and end of what a great game is. So I'm excited to try it. Carnage, I have not played and I had not heard of it until you brought it up. I admit it does look interesting. It looks kind of good. So I'll have to dig into it. If you guys have played Carnage or Resident Evil 4 or any other game that I've mentioned, feel free to hit me up in the comments and let me know. All right, and Eye of Nelms said, you mentioned Star Wars Squadrons, but no, Oh, VTOL VR? Question mark, question mark. I know this upset you, but you know what? Because of your comment, I downloaded that game and I played it for a bit. It wasn't for me. This game is built specifically to kind of incorporate controllers so that you don't rely on a Hoda stick. And I appreciated that. I understood what they were trying to do. And maybe with time, I, I'd appreciate it more. I just found it not very immersive with the controls that I had. I'm sure it's great for a lot of people, but for me, having used a HOTUS, a flight stick, I just, I, I can't go back. Granted, I don't have a flight stick that would really fully be compatible with games like Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's just too many buttons, too many switches. To really play that the way it's supposed to be played with a flight stick and throttle, I'm sure you'd have to spend like $1,500 just to build your, your rig. But no, I saw what they were trying to do with that game and it just took me out of it a bit. All right, and then Michael Gutwald. I'm gonna read all of this, but I can't. I I can't do this the service it deserves. He says Fallout 4 and Skyrim VR with Waba Jack, The Forest, Automobilista 2, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Into the Radius, Green Hell VR, Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, Blade and Sorcery, Half Life VR 2, Dragon Fist, Ghost of Tabor, No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous, Valheim VR mod, Walkabout Mini Golf, Far Cry 3 VR, Every Serious Sam Game, Eleven Table Tennis, Contractors. Ich hoffe das nicht Wein. What is happening right now? I don't speak German. Oh. Wait, let's see. What's he saying here? Let's translate this. I hope that not many people think that this strange list is actually the best VR has to op- Hey, screw you, buddy. It's not a strange list. It's a great list that was just missing everything. Why did he go into German at the last second? Did he run out of juice halfway through? I want to play Into the Radius. I think it looks great. As far as all those games that he mentioned previously, that long list that devolved into German at the very end, I don't know, dude, but I will say that Into the Radius looks really interesting. I've wanted to play this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy it on Steam VR, and I'm gonna give it a go because I think it looks really interesting. That's one of those survival games, I think, where it's gonna take some collecting and building and saving up. Regardless, it looks good. So I'm gonna give it a go. See, I can grow, I can learn, and uh, that's your list. Not necessarily my list, but it gave me a bunch of stuff to look forward to. I'm gonna download some of it. And if one of these really just blows me away, I'm gonna let you know in a future video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, feel free to hit that join button, find me in memberships. You can also join us on Patreon. We got early access content. We've got a VR movie night on the first of every Saturday. Come join us, it's a blast. I hope to see you there. And congratulations to 2112 Zaz on YouTube. Uh, he has won one of the free golf clubs I'm giving away. So congrats to him and congrats to Toes on YouTube. He also won a golf club and he'd previously won a gun stock. So he's just raking it in. 
And thank you to Matthew Bug and Ortiz on Patreon for supporting my channel, my VR heroes and fanatics. And thank you to 10 Speed for supporting me on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your comments. And if you got more, drop them down below. I try to read everything. You've been watching Bring Hearst VR. You guys have a great day.